What's up, Patriots fans, and welcome into the SPN.TV pregame show. I'm your host, Chris Stradbick. The Patriots are back in town for a three-game series, but we are under a week away from the 2017 All-Star Game. The big game, I had a chance to talk with three former Patriots All-Stars, not just about their All-Star experience, but about what they expect for this year's game. Check it out. Talking about the All-Star Game, obviously, with being in Somerset this year, you were named an All-Star back in 2014 down in Sugarland. Talk to me about being named to the team, finding out your name, did you expect it, your first emotions, things like that? No, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, you know, always you always want to play to be be the best you can be, and it was uh, it was good to be recognized by the you know the league and everybody that be one of the top players in the league at that time. And uh, when I was down in Sugar Land, I was surprised and all that, and uh, it was a good feeling though. It was kind of a surprise to me, honestly. We had a really good staff that year, you know, bullpen starting and everything, and you can only take so many pitchers. So um, I think I was an all-star, but I had the fourth best numbers on the staff. I mean, I, had, I was having a good year. and uh, I mean, you kind of look, you know, like, you know, some of the other outfielders, you know, weren't having a great year. So, you know, you know there's a chance, but, you know, they, you never know with the voting, and you can never really expect it. So when it happens, it was awesome. When you first get named and you find out, you know, other teammates getting named, you're traveling down there, I mean, it's got to be an exciting thing. What's the, the, the theme, the, you know, the vibe looking like when you're heading down there, gearing up for the big day? Uh, you know, it's just, just good to see everyone else in the league and, uh, you know, to experience it with some of the teammates that were with us. And um, like, I said, like I said, you know, we know a lot of guys from the league and it was just good to play with them and be by side them. From the, from the drive up and to the drive back, I mean, there was every day had something and um, every every 10 minutes something happens that you're like, hey, that, you know, that, that's something kind of special or, you know. A pitcher will, you know, throw a nasty pitch when you least expect it, you know, so um, it, it's a lot of fun top to bottom. I didn't know what to expect. I know it was hot, and I remember go getting there, and they told us, you know, we had to dress, they wanted us to dress real nice for our uh, nice little dinner we were going to have, and we get to Southern Maryland, and we're having lunch. It was humid, and everyone just sweating. It was, we were like, we were miserable. Like, everyone was so hot. We were just like, oh my God, we need to go. But, I mean, it's awesome because... You play against all these guys, and you kind of have your perception of them. You're like, oh, you know, that guy's this, this, that guy's that. And then once you get together, you meet them, and you're like, you know, this guy's a nice guy. And so that's that's the best part about, you know, I like about being with the All Stars. Eggy drove up with me, um, and I kind of picked his brain because I knew he'd, he'd been there before. Um, we probably got to talking too much because I missed a few exits and <laughs> ended up going through a few tolls I didn't really need to. So we're going, and he doesn't have a, an easy pass on his car. So he's just strolling right through these toll booths and like, like it's nothing. And then I was like, hey, uh, you're not supposed to exit here. He's like, yeah, right here. So he exits, wrong exit, turn back around, go through the same toll booth. Then he goes, that's this, this exit. So exit the wrong exit again, go back. We went through the same toll booth like three times. And so it took us forever to get there. But uh, it, was, it was a good experience, it was fun. I still give him crap to this day. So does it get competitive, or is it nice to kind of catch up with guys? Yeah, it's see? good to catch up with guys. And a little bit of competitive, because you know, it's, I mean, as an athlete, you never want to lose or anything like that. But it's just good to be, you know, have some fun with some other guys. I mean, it's, it's it's competitive, but at the same time, like no one wants to get hurt. Everybody there is having a great time, and and they're more relaxed, and you get to kind of know guys from the other team besides just talking to them and BP or crossing pads in the parking lot or whatever. And a lot of us have played with each other before too, so. Um, it's, it's a nice break in the middle of the year. It's, it is what you think it is. It's just a nice break. Everybody kind of gets together. You know, it's good food, you know, good company. Everyone's just, everyone's just having fun. Like that year in Southern Maryland, we actually, it was actually a tie at the uh, end of the game. So each team picked one guy and they had like a little home run derby. Corey Smith, one of the guys from our team, ended up winning it, so we won. Looking back on it, uh, what is one thing that you take away from the memory of making an Atlantic League All-Star game? Um, my, my mom finally got to see me play. Yeah. It had been a while, so yeah, she and my sister was living in uh, right right around in Austin, and they drove down to come see me play. So that's what it made it a little bit more special. First All Star game, just just meeting the people and just and just being there, and then like you never really see a game tie, and then have like a you know guys like have a home run derby afterwards. But it kind of goes by quick. Like you're there, and then all of a sudden you you know you just you're out of there. Obviously, you know the All-Star Game being in Somerset, the 20th anniversary of Atlantic League, and Somerset kind of getting the honor of hosting it. What's that going to be like for this crowd, for this franchise, to host you know, the biggest day of the year this year? Uh, it's going to be great. You know, I know caliper has got some stuff up his sleeve or something, and uh, you know, it's a first-class organization, so I'm not expecting anything different with the All-Star Game. I'm sure they'll go above and beyond and pull out some tricks. So. I'm just excited to see what happens and uh, wait for him to get here. Somerset does everything right. I mean, they know how to do things. And I think it's going to be, you know, a big ceremony. And, 
you know, the best part about like one of the things you like going to the All-Star game is you always get like cool little like gift bags and stuff like that. And like certain teams will have like different ones. So I think Somerset, no one's told me anything, but I think Somerset will end up doing it right and you know, it'll be a good time. I think it's going to be great. I think the fans are going to show out. I think it's going to be packed. Um, hopefully they do the home run derby during BP time because the wind's always blowing out. Um, I'd like to see Roller in there. There's a couple, There's a lot of bats in this league I'd like to see in the home run derby. And that's coming from a pitcher. Usually we hate seeing home runs, but uh, I think that the derby is going to be great this year. I think, um, I think all the festivities before and after the game is going to be great. I, I know how Somerset does things, and I know other, other teams in the past have done it great, so I think Somerset's going to follow suit, and I think it's just going to be a great weekend for the fans, players, staff, coaches, everybody. So. I mean, hopefully hopefully the weather the weather holds up. Like last year in, uh, in Lancaster, uh, the home run derby got right now. And that's what I think everyone looks forward to. Everyone wants to see how far certain guys can hit the ball, and I know the fans would love to, too. What's it going to be like for those players to be out there on that field on their own turf? Oh, it's, for the gonna be, it's going to be great. You know, you know, you don't have to travel, so that's always good. And then you're going to be home in front of the crowd, and you know, you're going to, you know, the crowd's going to be behind you. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting to see, you know, who's going to be there and everything like that. And I'm sure it's going to be a good show. Playing at home would be even better. I know how much fun those guys had because I was on their team there. I was on the, the Bridgeport players were on my team, I should say. And. Um, you know, they had the fan support there, and I think we have even better fans here, no offense to Bridgeport, but, I, you know, it would be, it'd be incredible. These, you know, we have everyday fans that know our names, you know, sign autographs for them ten times, so, um, you know, they're, they're super supportive. I've never played an all-star game in my home, in my home stadium. So I was telling the other guys, I was like, I'd love to make it mainly because I don't want to clean out my locker for the other guys to use. But no, I mean, it'd be awesome to be, uh, you have your home crowd behind you and cheering you on and it just means a lot. Well, there you have it, Patriots fans, talking with Lucas Irvin, Aaron Eggleston, and Adam Donahue about the All-Star game. But that's enough All-Star talk for now. It's time for Patriots baseball right here on SBN.TV.